What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ellis TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to boot into the BIOS and also how to increase your VRAM or your video RAM. And what the VRAM is, it's your video random access memory. And this allows you to use some of your system RAM. You have, 13, you have 16 gigs of RAM on this device right here and it allows you to use some of that so that you can allocate more of it to gaming so that potentially you can get better gaming performance. More modern games need VRAM and this only by default uses four gigabytes. So we can increase that all the way up to eight gigabytes. And if you do eight gigabytes, so the more you do, the less you'll have for outside tasks. So if you're in a game, obviously you probably only care about using it for games, but if you're using, if you have a game running and then you have something else running as well, it might close that other app, not the gaming app, but something else. So just keep that in mind. So without further ado, this is what you need to do. We need to restart it. So let's get to our home screen. So let's close this out. And what we're going to do is as it's restarting, we're going to press and hold on that volume down button up here at the top. So we're going to get into restart. We're gonna hit the power button. Let's go back, power. And I'm just gonna hold it now. And then I'm gonna hit, let's go back one more time. And while I'm holding it and hit restart and just hold on to it until we get to that bio screen. And it's gonna take a little bit of time. It's not, you know, gonna be, it's not gonna take five seconds, but it it's pretty quick, you'll see. I'll do this all in real time. There you go. It's booting up into that logo. Keep holding it. Don't let it go. You can let it go. There you go. Now we're in the BIOS. So this is where I wanted to get you guys. And there's all kinds of things in here that you might ultimately want to take hold of in terms of being able to use it. So the one that we're really, really interested in is advanced mode. So you can hit the Y button if you want, or just tap on the screen. And then you want to go over to advanced and you'll see UMA frame buffer size. By default, it will be set to four gigabytes. I changed mine to six, but you can tap on it and you can lower it to keep it at auto or you can increase it all the way to eight gigabytes. All you do is just tap on it. I have it seven. So it's a little bit, if you have chubby fingers like myself, <laughs> you know, it's gonna affect it a little bit. But there you go, set to eight. And then if you want, like I said, it, you can come in here and adjust it as need be. But then once you're done, you can just save it. And you can see save, hopefully you can see right there. It shows that if you press this button up here, it's gonna save it. And then I can hit okay. And it takes a moment. It's probably gonna take, I think this takes about 30 seconds or so. But eventually it will reboot your ROG Ally and put it back into Windows normally like it would anything else. But while this is doing that, like I said, you can bum around in that BIOS. There's all kinds of settings in there from turning off boot, off, boot up sounds and all kinds of cool stuff in there. But this one, I, I just had found this information on Reddit and I thought it'd be some good information to share, especially if you were having some issues with games that were not performing as well as potentially they could. You can come in here and adjust that VRAM and, and make it do so. The way it's set right now, four gigabytes of RAM from what I'm understanding is great for the 720p or 1080p game. But again, there are some modern games that do require more than four gigabytes. That's why you might wanna do this just to get yourself some better performance. And again, if you, the more VRAM you add that's taken from your regular RAM uh, in the performance or the opening of other apps might close other things. So just keep that in mind, the more RAM you allocate to that VRAM. But you can see it is booting up right now. And then you'll get to this screen, you can unlock it with your fingerprint or put in your pin code and you'll be good to go. You can start gaming. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road.